Okay, you did this in all serious. Uh, we're now recording another part here. Uh, so, why can't you have this timer being displayed there? Why can't you have the timer always be displaying and stuff that's here? Normally, the place when you go, by the way, when you want to grind a 400 cash thing, you go in here and basically you don't care about what's up, what you're doing, you just go through the yes thing there, or also 400 there. That enemy there. That was a 400. Yeah, this is basically the place where you go to when you want to grind, uh, when you want to grind like mine basically. You go in here and then you just master the skill of this. And then basically like the more luck you have, so uh, with 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 Alcott mode, of course he changed his name to Alcott. This is the guy we want to be grinding, we will want to be grinding the bones, scimitar <sighs> and stuff for a certain special thing. And I got really mad at my friend by basically like he wanted to play to the for the night, more time for the first time, but then he got the cocktail from this. And the thing is that was the first time I saw the ring. And the thing is is you cannot get that ring if you haven't already completed the game, you want to do that bullshit blah blah blah, whatever, no, but that's true. You see, uh, if you're starting a new game and you don't have a clear file on your memory card or on the system, then you won't be able to get it. So if you delete your, if you delete basically your save files, uh, all your save files, then, you know, what happens, yeah. And I kind of wish there could be a, a code, like, empty, like, new game that can get up like a new game. Stuff like that, you know. And keep in mind, normally I would do this after getting like a ring of arcana, so it becomes easier to do, basically. <sighs> because yes, you can get kind of difficult here, and uh, I think I really never can get it. Uh, now the best thing is, of course, it is if we don't happen to get the uh, get it from this skeleton here. If we don't get it, so we can instead get, we can instead get the, uh, the gauntlet. The gauntlet can still drop, by the way, from this. So yeah. And of course, yes, we have 45 luck, and we don't, we haven't picked up a luck potion. Nope, no luck potions. We do have an attack potion and also a shield potion. Now the, the reason why you want to go down is to be able to Ring of Water, by the way, is plus a lot of stats. So that's like 30, it's like 30, 40, 50, yeah. Uh, 10, Constitution, uh, that's 30, Intellect, and 5 Luck, and a bunch of Attack and Defense. So basically now all of a sudden all the court uh, sword is slapping in its damage. So that's also the reason why I like to use Alicot gear because once you get a ring of water from this guy, which uh, we basically if you're doing a speed run for example, and you happen to like farm this guy and you get very very quickly a ring of water, then you don't need to get the whole you don't need the whole alocard situations pretty much. Because of the damage you always have something to slap out. You know what's better than a ring of water? I'm gonna find out. <laughs> I guess you can guess what it is. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know also, also that ring of animal could drop, by the way. Because I never saw that in the money file that I had on PlayStation that I played a lot on. And on that file, I never saw the rune sword either. I did see the heaven sword, I believe, but I never saw the rune sword drop. Even though I killed so many of the doodle birds. I probably had over a thousand kills on them and, and still, you know, yeah, as you say, over a thousand kills don't take a long time, you know, but I feel like I just had so many kills on them and I never had the resort drop, so maybe my version was good or something like that, so I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, do the walking. And I wonder if the drop. Drops are also somehow tied to the time in this game and stuff that, like, uh, like how quick you kill an enemy and stuff that, because sometimes if he's like, oh, you were really slow to kill this enemy, here, get this. 
I still have like some books we do with the uh, stamina and stuff like The funny thing though is sometimes having a one ring of water all of a sudden makes the second ring of water worse to get. I would really like to know the percentage of the ring of water though, because yeah, because we're now over the whole 50 luck thing and stuff like that. And luck thing does affect drops in this, although I think it might only be cash drop and like gem drops and stuff like that. So if an enemy can drop a gem, it has higher chance, I think. With luck, during luck mode, of course, with the date, you can easily you can get like over like something like 99. You can get over like 19 luck or whatever it is. See, all of a sudden, the damage with it gets really, really good. Like that, you think like you can, you can get like, like very, very good damage in the castle and stuff like that. And by the way, also getting these, for example, makes it so that you can kill the bone thing very quickly, so you don't have to rely on sitting right next to it. I forgot how much health it has, though. However. We still haven't got the second ring of water yet though. And we are gonna pick up Familias by the way, just because I want to show you what I did cast to our That was the red rust, right? That was another, yeah, that was another red rust. We have three red rusts. You know what I thought always though that the red rust would be like certain weapons would be like a like imagine for example if, if the Namakura would be some sort of course sort of secret katana and then oh bring it to this blacksmith here or whatever maybe it would have been like like if they ever do a remake of it like any like bring it to the to the, uh, to the like the master librarian and then he's like oh like I think I can improve this whatever you know. And then maybe you would invest a lot of money into the number correct and it would be a little bit more than 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 a little bit more this is the best skill I'm not in the game, so yeah. And I was like, this is always something that's cursed, you always think about that, like, oh, wouldn't it be cool, like, oh, yeah, the turfing, oh, kill this amount of enemies with the turfing, and the turfing transform and becomes super powerful. Yeah, but, but I thought that turfing is a cool base, and you know, I'm being sword and stuff like that, so that's probably why it doesn't do that. Stop a second, so that, and there isn't another one. I mean, getting one was easy, like getting more is hard. But well, we already have almost 10,000 gold now, almost. So, yeah, I mean, you are getting the 100 back pretty often. I think, of course, if, if we get another ring of water, then that will bring us up to 55 luck, pretty much. And also, if you, for example, farm luck like, potions, I don't think you can buy uh, luck like, potions, right? But you can farm them from the like, devils and stuff like that. Little tiny devils. Boom and boom. Let's just increase the volume a bit. Cost the music claps. Let's just do this one for one star. Wow, not a single comeback! So sometimes I wonder if you reach certain luck thresholds, if that's actually worse. So this one for 100 coin bag. So you see, at that point, it's it's not worth it. But the thing is, is that this room is so quick, right? This room is, is, is quite a lot faster than the whole uh, grind that you does in coin bag. But of course, if you're doing this during luck mode, this is an easy grind for the whole market uh, thing. But, See, there was another 400 back. That's not the luckiest I've gotten, by the way. Like, if you get like really lucky here, for example, and you get and you get four 400 bags, that's like. 
it's 4, it's 800, it's 1200, it's 1600 uh, in cast basically, four of them drops. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I think there's 8 in the room, or maybe it's 9. Can we get one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, it's 9. It's 9 in the room. And imagine if all of them would drop, uh, would drop the 400, 400 bag, uh, then you would almost get, you would almost get 2,000 from around in the room, and that would be more than getting the 2,000 dollar coin bag. That would be exactly the good of the coin bags. And because of how quickly you can, like, you can go into the room, you can just dash out, go into the room, and then. The thing is, even when they don't drop the 400 slot bag, you have a very, very high chance of also getting, getting other ones that way. Now we're over 12,000 already, which means with the, you get the diamond plate for that. You can also get the Yost cloak on the very first castle, by the way, which is pretty insane. And of course also I believe your luck right increases right as you gain more levels right as well. Correct. I think it does. I forgot the how much though it increases per level. It's just random. Because I mean the thing is actually luck is what the fixed coin bags carry the most. But the fact that that is a drop means that you can, you know. If you want to farm like 30,000 here, like you can do it pretty, pretty quickly and stuff there, especially during this mode. Okay, let's just check, so here I'm gonna pass again one up. Now technically, of course, once we reach past the two, uh, this farm becomes so much easier because you can get your hands on, on what is it called? Uh, Lapis Lazuli. Because they can drop from, I think, the dragon, right? I think it can drop from the dragon in the same place where you can unlock from the rune sword and the hot brows from the, like, the dude bird. In that place is from one of those, like, the rider, right? So, dragon thing that can drop the... I think it's the dragon, though, that drops the... the Lapis Lazuli. I think. I'm not one half chance of no. You know what? And we're gonna unequip the ring of water here. Watch, watch us get it on the first try now without the ring of water equipped. Because like it's so weird as a stat. Like it's so weird as a stat because sometimes like it's like okay now we have now we have 46 like I think there are certain breakpoints where once you reach a certain breakpoint it counts as having lower luck or whatever. Or maybe it has to be average, just that all we have like the six times skills up, and uh, probably give you a higher chance. Because I feel like there are certain things, right, that once you get one, it becomes easier to get a second one, and then certain things need to become way harder. So, yeah. Of course, the thing is, if we would have gone. We could have rolled it, probably have like double the lead, or have like the lead on by now, and then we could have easily gone like the like, bat card in order to get like the bat transformation. And then with the bat transformation, of course, uh, we will be able to get to the gravity boots, and then with the gravity boots, we will be able to get to the like, uh, There we go, second ring of water, see how quickly we got one there, and boom. And now we have 57 luck, and now we have 105 in attack. <laughs> and we have 34 defense. 
Now let's try this room again here. See? Ah, Kura dropped. That's good. That means that we're over a certain threshold now. So that the luck is better now. Because otherwise there's no way that Amakura would have dropped if our luck would have been bad. There's no way it would have dropped, if that is the case. Because it feels like when you're at certain points of luck, that's what I feel like I think the luck does in Symphony Light that it changes. What drops you have a higher chance of getting and stuff like that, like the loot table changes. And sometimes it's better to have a bit lower luck, as you saw there. Because you saw there how long I was holding with one ring of water equipped, and then I didn't see, see the ring of water at all. But then as soon as I turned it off, just within like two or three kills, I got it. You know? Okay, they definitely seem to be less for 100 coin bags if we're doing it here. So it's plus 60 strength, plus 60 intelligence, plus 25 constitution, and plus 40. That's of course what we're doing. That's the end of the building board. That's the end of the building board. Now imagine how like, like, because, because when you do like, oh, here. When I did the room, I started getting like screen 400 bags on average, that's 1200 like cash each time. Considering how quick you can do this room, getting like 1200 like each, each room, each of these rooms, getting like 1200 cash, it's a good way you could get that one 400 there too. 400 there. Or I got 800 basically in the. In the Okay, we have got one lead, you are starting to get pretty. The thing is, once you start seeing it your fault, it seems that the lucky goes up with a higher chance, basically, and maybe it has to do with the amount of kills. Yeah, one certain end as well. It is fine. And even if we only get one right, it is still pretty good. Right. To realize also that if we, for example, if we would be using the increase, increase uh, rare item appearance, we could use the overall increase item appearance. Because if it's less rare item, then it would only mean a second drop would increase. And so, so. so we're almost at 20,000 now. One damage with the other But you can see also the fact that you can get other money bags is kind of complimental as well because you can get, of course, one coin bag. You can that as well. Okay, let's again go out with the. Of course, we will be able to just go through the pop now. Uh, we want to make sure we save here though. We don't have to redo this. On how much da how much damage do we do with you, by the way? How much for you? So you make everything better. And unlock now goes down to 27. So it's now only plus 10 lock. Yeah. Because now it's gonna be interesting to see okay, how much quicker is the, is the ball farm? Now we're level 19 though, so now the ball is not gonna be as effective with, with its XP. Um. Good pass. We, yeah, we don't want to edit it. And 
something and sadly I believe like if you don't take the if we don't take the the help there uh, then it won't show up at all pretty much it will stop showing up We're gonna go for glasses this time. Actually, let's try this spell here. Okay. Alright, I think that actually scales. That spell actually does become stronger, I think, with the thing. Um, Which is plus, so it's uh, okay, that's plus a, a little bit of intellect. Okay, one shot. Okay. I wonder how much damage it can do though. The 48 damage is pretty insane, though, though because, yeah, because it doesn't work like other spikes. Okay. Okay, one more kill should be it, I think. I'm just gonna do the regular dash there in case I just mess it up. Uh, Like, but you can still do this real quick here, basically. And eventually, basically, the other thing will only give you one XP eventually. So what is it three hits? Yeah. Okay. Now the thing that you can get here that you really really want is you can actually get the axe load armor here. Which by the way is unique from the iron ball. Yeah you will see when it pops by the way, so yeah. So that's now level 21 now. So we can use grand a bunch of levels. The main problem though is if you get too many levels, then grand Falloon would only give one XP. Yeah, if I had grand Falloon only give one XP, which is really really bad. I forgot what level grand Falloon is though. thing in the world though. Yeah. I feel like I need to just hold my oops. I found that that's still quite a lot of damage but it's still yeah. now we're twenty two. I think you can even like run up to 30 here if you wish or whatever right I mean as long as it doesn't give you 1 XP that's like I'm not gonna say it's worth grinding grinding if it only gives like 10 XP or whatever you know and stuff that but still it's just you know Go 
because once you beat uh, a certain level, for example, like most things in Catwoman would be 1 HP, at that point it's the quantity of things that you kill, which is why the sword is so good. Although I'm uncertain if it works on all the swords, but the thing, the whole, like you get 1 HP from each part, if that's only true for the reverse chapel sword. Still no, uh, still no actual armor. I wonder if the actual armor is actually made for this room. Kind of, that that's kind of how they tested actual because that's why they put it on this. Yeah, we're getting really unlucky with this, by the way. You might not believe that it drops from here, but it does. Great when we get to when we see the thing finally. Is it that, uh... <laughs> it's getting annoying, man. It's getting annoying. I mean, my dear, what is this must be run like a break, but it is like. You can understand like you could try and incorporate some of these things into like a speedrun and stuff that is like okay what's the quickest time I can get while doing some of these like because for example if you're doing a speedrun of specifically the luck mode if you're doing a luck mode speedrun then you can probably get the uh, thing more likely. I should have actually investigated the my previous clip by the way before I started recording this right. To see you down to your level is luck, but then it's just like, oh, you cannot hardly hear it, or oh, it's blurry, or whatever, you know. Let's see, I'm only need 500 now, so you can see how quick this is, like, uh, like uh, because, like, once you do enough damage, like, just very quickly. And then it's also completely safe now, pretty much. Uh, because it probably won't even do 20 damage to us right now, basically, so yeah. Alright, so that gives us... Come level up. Just the line ball right. Yeah, I'm all. I mean, the iron ball is not bad, like it's heavy and it's like, it can not hit, I believe. Well, so, yeah. Sure, I can. Yeah. And so, yeah. And so, of course, and now we're 24. Uh, I know that I have grinded up to 30 for this, and it doesn't take that long. The thing is, though, that the quicker you can kill things, of course, the quicker it's just. The better you are at still asking, of course, the quicker you can do this as well, you know, once the death, like... I also want to see a level at the Rangram, because I believe that when he did the... Ramam uh, Massacre, I don't think he got level 99 from that, which you're all supposed to get. But you have to do it in another way, like, doing the strategy with the whole knife and using dual duplicators and dating as low damage as possible with the knife, that's pretty nice. But that also means that you're not gonna get level 99 from doing so. If you, however, are reliant on the Mramas itself, uh, splatting blood on you, then you are gonna get enough kills to where you are gonna reach the 99 before the thing. So the main problem is if you're using the daggers or the knives uh, with low enough damage, then then you won't really get kills uh, that quickly and stuff like that. Meaning that you're gonna be like you're gonna be able to form hits more often and stuff like that. But yeah, but then you're not gonna get the amount of kills. Anymore. I don't think at least. So that you can of course also farm in Castle 1 for, for, the, for the kills with the thing.
Jag kommer att se att jag inte är så här så att jag inte är så här så att jag inte är så här så här. I don't know why for why fewer plates is not liked anymore by a lot of people and stuff that like it used to be like a speed running thing before I remember. Yeah. Right and that's 25. We heal. I'm going to heal the shadow potion. I think we can heal the cheese. It's not that great. It's 18 healing from the cheese. We do have two pot roasts so. though. Imagine though if there is a hidden way to get to night and nine. I always thought that the certain, like the bone pillar or the, like the golden skulls, for example, I always thought that those two cats too were like destroyable and that it was some sort of like debug enemy. And that it would be that way you get to like 99 that they would give you like a shit ton of, of thing if, if you could only kill it. But because the fact that you can kill this, this the morning star thing and the fact that that gives you a lot of XP is you know, something special. Right, I'm gonna see how slow it is at 25, because at 25 I know that it slows down quite a bit. Right, because that has been like something like 400, right? Something, because this should only give you one XP now to do some Yeah, that only gives you one XP. Yeah. <sighs> this other it's been a decent amount of XP. And the rest of once we get the next door on maybe. We'll see. We could go down and save that way though. If we want to. Now it's 126 damage. I forgot if it's been going up or not, you know, and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, so 900, so it's like, what is it, 300 each time, right? So it's not, so it's 620 now. Okay, so it's slightly over 300 that we get each time. It's slightly over 300 each time. Wow, 12. <laughs> so you can see it's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Oh, luck is 31 now, so it has gone up. So it has gone up with level. It has gone up with level. Yeah. Okay, so 3208 just the main problem, right? Like, in like now it raises quite massively. So 3207. 3200, so 200. 100, uh, 900. Okay, so it's still giving me about 300 or so. So about 300 times 10, yeah? 10 kills, you need 10, 10 kills now for a level. I'm not gonna count that was one kill. Two kills. I'm gonna kill this time, you know, in case it matters. 
Vê que eu ouço. Não, não, não. By the way, I'm curious here. Because I'm guessing we have to do it from another angle. Okay, that's not bad. We can actually do that because then we can be more safe. Then we should have done that. I forgot to check how much it was. So, 3,259. 3,200. 3,200, 200, 100, 0, 900. So it's still about 300, so it would be 10 more kills. For level 3. Time it correctly, you can always kill the crow that way. And here I do this. And the blue raven does a less aggressive. And I actually want to check up here because, yeah, that's one of the life maxers. And a sink potion with vault and silver plate, which is pretty good. Silver plate is a big, big upgrade, but it's not the best. of the power of the Vorda. B 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just walk away. Yeah. I think that that might have only given me one XP. <laughs> so maybe for Griff, they for Griff didn't give us a level at all. <laughs> because you know I'm pretty high level now, or like Castle One, like being twenty <laughs> seven. And we're still only like one hour, like twenty minutes in. We're not gonna do that. Uh, we are gonna go up here though because this is yeah, yeah this is a potion. And then here is where the cutlass normally is. The cutlass of course, as I said. It's not that great. But it's a bit weird like why get the cutlass the cutlass when you can just get the false on. Although the false on you won't be able to get it right away. See, you're meant to pick up the Ricochet Stone here. Because you might not know about this. Uh, first we go in here. You know, so we can get warp. Why not? Should I make it a special run with this weapon? I mean, it is possible to technically rush to this weapon and get as few kills as possible before you get this weapon here. So we're gonna be doing this. And in here. I'm gonna get a mighty tear, I think. Yeah, the crap sword. That even with even with with the devouring of water, it's only 76 attack. Uh, and it has no special attack either. Oh, I kind of wish there would be something it would do. So, yeah, so it has, it has curse, of course. Uh, so we can use silver plates then. We can use the uh, I shield or the I shield instead. Go. This deals a very, very unique curse element. I mean, the swing speed isn't that bad, right? If you consider it, imagine right away if, if like the turfing would turn into something powerful and stuff like that. So you get the lips down here, boom. And now we have access to the double jump. Oh, okay, so that thing is definitely very slow. Jump slashing is the best to do with this. Yeah, jump slashing is what you want to do with this, it seems. Jump slash with the turfing. That's at least decent. Um, do we need the card? Yes, we do. We need the card now. Already got the warp that we need. I want to be getting the Oath Cloak. Uh, we could grab a gold that's here, that's the other thing that's nice. And there's the Diamond Breastplate, by the way, which is pretty good. Uh, we can, of course, grab better stuff here eventually. Uh, 
see there that it shows being in there. Is that that? Because it kind of looks like a dark element, but it's not dark, that's a very cursed element. And I don't know if there's a single thing that the curse is great against, specifically. Uh, I'm not gonna go and do the boss right away here. Uh, we're actually gonna go up first so we can get Holy Ward. Also, step across Holy Ward is good. I will, of course, kinda do this round to show off a bunch of stuff like where you can get certain things. You only use the first thing here and do this to that also. It's not flat. You get a duck like a coward set because you love all the things that are you when you do this. Keep in mind, of course, if you do some of the, if you do the after bounce stuff, back to the cart, the uh, cart, the cart, yes, status allocate. Now I believe that even if you will have in your hand, I believe that the boss will not give you the item. Same thing with the cast human like the boss itself. So mask I think might be better. Just to mask is slightly better and still gives you the int. Top of circlet and then you get whole world. Top of circlet is a cold circlet, so it's like by potion damage, uh, which is insanely good for the, uh, for the, uh, and here you can sit down if you want to. And it's really good for the enemies to not fight, uh, not against the, uh, not against the, what do you call them, the, the, the flies. You want to have dark on and also put for that to be immune to the flies. And then you can be immune to poison and actually hit from the poison. So that you have to have a chance to attack the best one. Might as well pick that up. Yeah. You know, normally I want to avoid it. Picking up health from all the bosses, except certain bosses where you kind of want to uh, the clock that we can use. I can make this here, I can make this here, I can make this here, and we can get this is all of that, yes. I normally use the library card here. Why not? We have five library cards. <laughs> And now I have, of course, the solar bat. And then we equip the Alcott sword again. So we get the Alcott uh, slides back. And let's do it off some from that. Uh, I forgot if the first diamond is in Castle 1 or not. Because now we have access to this. And then you're holding down the button, you do a half diagonal thing, you almost do a full thing uh, in order to do that. Smash it. And here you can get the fire in here. And you can fire your record, yes. That's the regular fire location, by the way. Uh, which we're not going to be using yet. Now the fact that we can do this 
but I'm also going to go inside the clock tower, not to kill Kazuma, by the way. We're going inside the clock tower just to specifically do a thing. We're going inside the clock tower to do that thing. I forgot exactly what it is if you still input the movement over and over, or if you still have to hold down the X button when you do that. To extend the thing, I could do it before when I was back down and stuff that, but yeah. But the old man, me, old man, I'm so old. Uh, so now we can technically, we can go. Technically, you could go back to the start. Actually, let's do that. Because it's actually very useful to go back to the start now. Back to start. Nope. Or I mean technically that would have been good. Underline would have been good to start that because we could have visited the castle keep and got them some things there. Because normally the reason why I want to pick up the, all the health up is to have as much health as possible. You know, for like getting like an item like an so you can have as much health as possible. Uh, one here though, to get E uh, health max. Then I go over here, get the shield potion, activate this, go down. Get the hot. <coughs> max up. that you only do the input. So you go through with wolf. Go through with that. And I'm just gonna fly slowly too. And then I'm just going over here because that doesn't affect anything and then it's open. Nice effort for the sword. And then you could technically start grinding with the um, start grinding here. But equipping that of course gives you the lower thing here. Uh, so then we'll want to have iron shield uh, silver plate. Because there's still 32 luck with that. Um, so yeah. It's yeah, medicine. If you take medicine first, you can get the library card to shop very quickly. Okay. We're just going up here to get a certain very useful thing. This is useful if you want to actually fight Rick there. Sword is not the best thing really in the world, but it's... Actually, let's get that. Now here you have a save also as well, and this is the save that you normally use when you grind the... Uh, when you grind the uh, mermans. You can also use the other save of course, the one that's like where the teleporter real thing is. And that would make this really good, by the way, because it's quite a little bit fun. And keep in mind that enemies that die in one hit has a pretty, pretty high chance of dropping the things. Which is why luck grinding here is so good, luck grinding the moments and stuff like that. Because this is also a pretty okay place to grind your familiars. Like the grind takes a long time, but if you do that grind, for example, uh, it's not the best familiar place to grind, but you can of course do the home getting out there. Can you think? Almost a bit 
two sixty minutes again. Uh, let's stick with that then. Uh, I'll call it. Uh, I'll call it. Here. I don't know if it's like you have to do it input again or whatever it is. And this is where there's hidden passages, which is actually in the Requiem version. And I believe you can actually do the after bouncing, because I don't know the timing for it. Power Wolf. Power of Wolf is the one fast with Wolf, right? Is it? Two circles we're gonna sell. Um, now that we have that, uh, we want to go to Castle Keep. Technically, we could go via the other way and stuff that, but it's better to do this here. I mean, if you're gonna slay Captain Mana. Yeah. It seems that the heat actually goes in quicker on the Raycon version. So, that, so maybe it's worth picking up. Like it would be fun to see them speedrun actually the Raycon version and stuff that's so yeah. I don't know what people say that this is bad, but the thing is that it is based on the PSP version. So let's just get the false on. Normally now you do a full clear now here basically pretty much you do a full clear uh, and we're probably gonna do the rest of the recording of this uh, tomorrow then instead because it's so hot in here now it's almost 29 degrees Celsius here yeah, yeah that's pretty insane we go in here of course we do all of this stuff here in here we get all of these we get life max up, heart max up, and yeah, there's nothing here. Um, we get another heart max, life max up, heart max up, and go top. See, that's pretty decent. And of course, you now go and pick up everything in in the place here. We have one minute to get everything. <laughs> I'm for the popular horse turkey and sirloin. Sirloin is a good really good because that's the uh, one of the best cut items in the game. Uh, and platinum mail. Go. Get on the balls because why not? And then, uh, am I gonna do this off, off screen? Maybe we will see, of course, uh, because I, of course, it's gonna be ending soon here. Uh, of course, and it's gonna pretty much end now at 60, I think. I will see if it's up when.